we are hoping that with that, we will get the money back that he owes us at some point. Now to Nina, where a local nonprofit is going public with a story of a pro wrestler who they say took payments for an appearance and then never showed up. Now more organizations are saying they've experienced the same thing. Your Nina neighborhood reporter Darby McCarthy went to Jake's Network of Hope to learn more. Do what you love and you never work a day in your life and that is true here at Jake's. Jen Harper is the Director of Development at Jake's Network of Hope. She says she loves how rewarding her job can be by helping underprivileged families and other nonprofits every day. At Jake's here we only have five full-time staff and then we rely on about 8,000 hours of volunteer time a year. But in April, this nonprofit encountered something unexpected. Jake's decided to put on a wrestling event fundraiser hosted by Lawrence University. One of my old co-workers is an ex-professional wrestler and he's like, hey, I got I know a guy. Like, are you interested? And I was like, yes, yes we are. They booked names like Billy Gunn, Vampiro, Tatanka, Brian Pillman Jr. And then Jacob Fatu. But when the day came, Jen says Jacob called out. Jacob called and said that there was a family emergency. Um, we gave him the benefit of the doubt at Jake's. We are 100% about family. And I said, if you can't make it, that's fine. Jen says all she asked was that her nonprofit be reimbursed for the money they spent booking him and for the plane ticket. We rescheduled the flight that he missed originally. Um, and about an hour after that flight took off, we were made aware from him that he wasn't coming. Um, after that, he ghosted us, he ghosted um, the production team um, that puts together the wrestling show, um, and he ghosted the person that booked him for us. Jen says she and the staff at Jake's initially planned to keep quiet about the whole ordeal until they saw posts on social media from other organizations saying Fatu had done the same thing to them. But some good has come of it. Jen says that a major name from Jacob Fatu's wrestling family heard about the incident. And though that person does not wrestle anymore, they reached out to offer an appearance at Jake's wrestling fundraiser next year. It was kind of really out of the blue to get a phone call from somebody of that magnitude to say, hey, what, what can we do? How can we help? I reached out to Jacob Fatu at the numbers provided by organizations who had been in contact with him. He has not responded to requests for comment on the situation at this time. Reporting in Nina, Darby McCarthy, NBC 26.